So one of the things that's really important, kind of why we're all here, uh, is um, the, 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 the promise of interoperability between systems. Um, it's why um, you know, we were so excited about and, and invested so much in the W3C uh, web annotation um, movement. It's, it's kind of when we started Hypothesis, what we looked back and saw that um, wasn't there and wasn't working and really hampered the previous you know, tons of projects in, in annotation previously. Uh, and it's something we care passionately about and invest uh, a lot of ourselves in. And as part of um, that, other than the W3C effort itself, there are a couple kind of coalitions and groups um, that um, we have um, either helped to nurture or participated in uh, over uh, the last couple of years that I just want to give a brief uh, update and overview on. I, I will skip Credco uh, because Ed talked about that yesterday, but that, that's also uh, a similar project, a similar effort, has a, has a different focus, um, a different um, uh, set of goals and outcomes, but um, it's one that we um, are very uh, hopeful for. Uh, the first uh, project we started in 2015, it's called Annotating All Knowledge. Uh, and the basic premise is um, that um, as we had talked to more and more publishers in particular and, and kind of platforms about um, the benefits that this interoperable universal annotation layer might bring, um, we found that we were having the same conversations uh, over and over again. And so we uh, reached out um, to uh, some of these uh, what are now uh, uh, participants in the coalition and said, "Would you, um, would you come together um, in publicly um, in in a group that would um, essentially espouse these principles and drive um, for uh, interoperable systems?" Um, important to note that um, there are competitors um, and kind of competitive projects um, to hypothesis in here, uh, like Redlink, um, uh, some of the other ones. Um, Paper hive, etc. Um, we don't expect that, or or think it's even healthy for us to be a disproportionately large part, part of this ecosystem. Just like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and so forth um, are all browsers on the server side. There's lots of different platforms out there. In order to have a healthy, interoperable ecosystem, we need different uh, service providers, different tool providers, etc. Um, so the basic goal here: there's four principles behind the annotating all knowledge coalition. Uh, number one, um, that, that people understand the rationale um, for why interoperability is important and why annotation could be a powerful paradigm. Uh, number two, um, that they uh, promise to essentially begin the process of experimentation and evaluation about what that would mean to integrate into their platform, um, that they'll uh, collaborate openly and share their experiences with other members of the coalition, and fourth, that they are willing to be public about their participation. Um, so it's uh, now numbers over 70 uh, publishers and platforms and, and uh, libraries and tool providers and so forth. If this sounds interesting to you, um, please get in touch with us. Um, we'd love uh, to have you. Um, the second uh, project um, is slightly different, um, and it came out of a uh, discussion with some folks at Wiley uh, last year. and. Um, in, a, in kind of a casual conversation, um, uh, it was actually Todd Toller, um, said to me, we were talking about open tools and they were evaluating potentially some open tools to use uh, at, at Wiley and, and said, don't you guys ever talk to each other? In other words, don't the different open tool providers ever come together to explore how they might be more um, more cross-functional, how they might uh, share information across their APIs or harmonize their user authentication models or use um, uh, different, uh, you, you know, incorporate uh, um, identifiers in similar ways so that the behavior from one project uh, or one system to another might share um, common capabilities or, or common user interfaces. Um, and, you know, the, the reality was um, we talk to each other all the time, but we never really talk to each other in a meaningful uh, way. And so um, we have decided to create um, a, a coalition. It's called the Joint Roadmap for Open Science Tools um, initially. We've now had a bunch of, and, and this is primarily 
um, to focus on the fact that, just practically speaking, that a lot of the scientific focused um, scholarly par parts of the scholarly tool chain are simply um, tend to be more, uh, tend to lead um, a little first. There's a lot more projects there. Uh, it helped to kind of crystallize some of the user stories that we were thinking about. Um, but there's um, now a bunch of, of what I would call more scholarly, humanities-focused tools uh, and projects that have also begun to approach us. So um, we will um, be um, perhaps having a discussion internally. Um, scholarly and science both begin with a letter S, so we wouldn't have to change our domain, uh, which is handy. Anyway, um, so right now we have about um, uh, 25 projects um, that have joined um, this uh, Coalition, so uh, ORC, a lot of the people you might suspect, ORCID, Crossref, uh, Datasite, Meta, Mozilla, Wikimedia, and, uh, on the Wikidata side. Um, Mozilla has uh, actually some very interesting science-focused uh, tools. Um, one project that they're essentially trying to get to uh, notebooks, uh, computing notebooks, kind of like uh, IPython and so forth, to be able to run natively in the browser. Um, PLOS, Spark, Zotero. Bioarchive, et cetera, um, uh, a number of the different people in this room. So the, the goal is really to come together, um, compare uh, our roadmaps, um, uh, and to create and, and imagine what a, 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 a holistic um, researcher exp experience of the future might be. Um, and um, this really centers around um, a user story driven uh, kind of narrative. In other words, for, and, and including researchers um, as provocateurs in this, um, uh, in this uh, effort, um, the goal is to say what are the problems um, that uh, different um, kinds of researchers, different kinds of users in uh, the scientific landscape need to solve? Um, what are the practical problems that they work through every day? What are the challenges that they find in working with the existing tool chain that they've got, perhaps in moving data back and forth uh, between different things, uh, different systems? Uh, maybe they take the data from this system, but then they've got to run some operations on it before they can import it over here or make practical use of it. Um, and so how can we take a look at real practical user problems and then imagine um, how over time the, the different projects um, uh, that are out there might uh, be able to solve them. At the moment, um, the members are all both open source driven uh, projects uh, and also all nonprofits. Um, and while we don't um, have a prejudice against uh, uh, for uh, profit or closed projects, which are clearly a valuable part of the ecosystem, we felt that the ability and willingness to be to share very openly, to be to essentially expose our mutual roadmaps um, um, to each other kind of without reservation um, and, and the ability to kind of really dig in and collaborate um, in, in, with a, a real esprit de corps is really kind of a hallmark of open projects. We wanted to start there first um, and um, uh, see what kind of progress um, that we could make. Um, so like I said, uh, user stories, breaking those down, um, classifying them into different kinds of functionality, um, different uh, kinds of, uh, of um, technical requirements in terms of whether it's on the API or in the user interface or whatever, um, ranking them in terms of easy to hard, um, and then maybe things that are already possible we just weren't aware um, um, were practical uh, possibilities of, of the different systems and then beginning to prioritize those. We're all, everybody we recognize are, they're busy, they already have full roadmaps and are short staffed to begin with, um, so we're not promising that we're gonna all of a sudden produce a whole bunch more, um, uh, you know, kind of working code than we already have, but if we are informed about what, where we're trying to go, um, then we have a better chance of getting there uh, over time. That's it. Any questions uh, about that? Also, if you are uh, kind of fit this paradigm, if you're a project, um, uh, the scholarly, the scientific focus um, that's interested in joining this effort, um, think you'd like to participate in that kind of joint user road mapping, um, please let us know. There's actually a 
uh, GitHub repo um, f with a, a file that you can make a pull request to to, to provide your details and um, uh, and kind of join join the effort. Thank you very much. Thank you.